Hi everyone, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make bifteca me patatas to furno, the lemony version. A couple of weeks ago I taught you how to make this dish which translates to roasted potatoes with meatballs in the oven and I taught you how to make my version um, with the tomato sauce in it. And in the comments section you guys all wanted to learn how to make the lemony version which, which is another classic way to make this. So today I'm going to be bringing you that recipe. It's very simple and easy. We're going to go over the ingredients like always and then we're going to get started. So first we're going to go over the recipe for the keftedes, which are the meatballs. And these are the classic meatball recipe that I've used over and over again on this channel. I love them because they're light and moist and just perfect and delicious. And you can freeze these ahead of time, which is great if you like to meal prep because you can just take these out and make them whenever you don't have time. So for the meatballs, so we're going to need some lean ground beef, lots of fresh parsley, some onions cut into cubes, some garlic, then in here I have some milk and some eggs. So for the dry ingredients we have some panko breadcrumbs, some parmesan cheese, crushed red pepper flakes, salt, dried oregano, and we're going to need some black pepper. Now this all begins in the food processor because it just makes life so easy. And I do it in a systematic way so that way everything comes together nicely. I first chop up the garlic very fine. Then I'm going to add the parsley in here. We're going to pulse that until it's finely chopped. And then we're going to add the cubes of onion. Now you don't want to add it all at once because then they won't um, chop up evenly. So you want the pieces to all be nice and even. And just pulse it a couple of times until the onions are finely chopped. Then I'm going to transfer everything into my meat and I'm going to go in and chop up the remaining onion. So everything is nice and even. We're going to add the chopped up remaining onion to the bowl. And now we're just going to add all of the remaining ingredients. I'm going to mix my dry ingredients together so that way they're well combined. Then lots and lots of freshly ground black pepper. And now I'm just going to whisk up the milk with the eggs. And finally I'm just going to add the milk and egg mixture to my um, meatball mixture. I'm going to take off my ring and now I'm going to go in and mix this until everything is perfectly combined and you want to knead this as much as you can so the ingredients are evenly dispersed. Now I'm using panko breadcrumbs because I have those on hand all the time. You can use frigañes which are Greek toast, just grind those up. You can use um, day old stale bread or if you want to leave this gluten free just go ahead and add some mashed potato to it. Everything is perfectly mixed together. I'm going to wash my hands and set this aside. Now the remaining ingredients are also very basic. They're just the ingredients to make lemony roasted potatoes. So I have some potatoes in here soaking in cold water so they don't turn brown. Some black pepper, olive oil, some dried oregano, salt, red pepper flakes, Dijon mustard, you can use regular mustard, lots of freshly squeezed lemon juice and some cumin powder. So I'm going to finish juicing this lemon over here. We need about a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice or you can make it as lemony as you like. You can put less or more. But a quarter cup is a good amount. We're going to put it in our mixing bowl over here. It's about a quarter cup. I'm going to put some olive oil, some salt, crushed red pepper flakes. Now crushed red pepper flakes are optional, but if you like a little heat, go ahead and add them. Some freshly ground black pepper. Lots and lots of oregano. You can use dried oregano or even thyme. And some cumin powder. Cumin powder goes really well. It adds a nice earthy flavor. Whisk this all up. Now I added my salt in here. I actually recommend that you, that you uh, sprinkle salt on top of the potatoes instead of putting it in the marinade. That way you can control the salt and you'll know exactly how much you put in. It's a little, it's a little better method of doing it. Now the potatoes too. I like to slice them in about three quarter inch uh, pieces, just like that. That's good. I'm going to drain the water from these potatoes and put them in my pan. So I'm just going to add my potatoes to the baking pan. Any 9 by 13 inch baking dish will do. You want a nice flat layer of potatoes on the bottom. And I realized that I didn't put Dijon mustard in my um, marinade. I'm going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of it. And then just whisk that all up and pour it over the potatoes. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water to the potatoes so that way they cook evenly. Just make sure that they're covered at least halfway. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more salt on top. 
And now we're going to form our bifteca and place them on top of our potatoes. Now you can do this and form them into little meatballs and put it on top or into football shaped uh, meat patties. I like to do football shaped meat patties just because each person gets a little bit of a bigger serving and they're more substantial and they're more traditional. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You can even do flat patties that look like burgers. Just put them on top of the potatoes. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna pop the tray in covered and let it bake for 35 to 40 minutes covered. Then I'm gonna go in and remove the foil and let it bake uncovered another 35 to 40 minutes until the meat patties get nice and golden on top and the potatoes are nice and tender. I do have three extra meat patties that did not fit in my pan. I'm gonna go ahead and bake these on the bottom rack of the oven while these bake in the center. And as soon as these are ready, I'm gonna take them out and then uh, when everything is ready, I'm just gonna put it all together. You could easily freeze the patties and use them at another time if you want to but we're gonna eat them over here at our house I'm gonna show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out so my bifteca and patatas just came out of the oven I cooked them covered at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 minutes then I uncovered them and then it took about 40 to 45 minutes for them to be perfectly cooked you're you're looking for the potatoes to be nice and tender you can even raise the temperature of the oven to 450 degrees the last 15 minutes of cooking so you get a really nice color on everything you can just take them out as soon as it's ready, chop up some parsley and sprinkle it on top and then serve it straight from oven to table. The recipe, as always, you can get it on the website, www.dimitrosdishes.com. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste. As always, you know, I like to mash the potatoes whenever I'm cooking something with potatoes in the oven. It just makes it taste extra special. The bifteki is so nice and tender and juicy because this recipe, you guys, is full foolproof. Now, I've had bifteca in the past, or I should say meatballs in the past, that are really hard, and that's because there isn't anything, there aren't enough herbs in there, there isn't that, the breadcrumbs in there to keep it nice and moist, so follow the recipe as is, and it's gonna be a hit each and every time around. So fresh, so lemony, so delicious. I think you guys are gonna love it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and I will see you all next time. Yes,